Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This is Toriel Sultan. In this video, we're going to review another AppSumo lifetime deal. It's called a Traff. Traff is an all-in-one platform. It's an app that takes care of your scheduling, your bookings. You definitely want to stick to the end of this video because I'm about to blow your mind and transform your booking into the next level with this amazing app called the Traff. Without further ado, let's get into it. Here's AppSumo lifetime deal page called the Traft. The link is in the description below. If you're not a big fan of subscription programs or apps like I am, then definitely check out this lifetime deal. So Traft is a basically an alternative for simple book or Calendly. Speaking about Calendly, this is one of the industry standard apps, right? But you're still paying $15 per month per seat. If you have a bigger team, you can easily end up paying quite a bit on a monthly basis. That's why I discovered a Traft and fell in love with the simplicity and a modern looking platform here. We have unlimited services, we have a coupon, custom fields. So the deal comes with the two different tiers. Tier one comes with a $59 one-time purchase. It's a 40 different employees. If you don't have a bigger operation, less than 10 or five people, then definitely check out this tier one. However, if you have a bigger operation or you plan to have a bigger operation, then you don't wanna get capped down the road, then definitely check out tier two, which gets you everything unlimited and by the way traff does offer free trials just in case you want to play around with it before you want to get into this lifetime deal definitely go ahead and do so now once you enter your email your password you're going to choose your business category company name i just randomly put in tario coaching and then the url here is a tario coaching as well it's going to be dot traft.com i agree to terms and agreement and click on continue traft comes with eight different types of template four different light versions and four different dark versions and choose the one that you like you don't have to worry about it because later on we can totally customize it and here is how the dashboard looks like they have their own crm system called the customers this is going to indicate to you how packed your schedule is on a weekly basis it shows how many booking we have how many cancellation we have and towards the bottom it gives you more detailed sample these are sample data if you want to remove these sample data you can do it in the settings i'm going to show you guys just in a moment and also you can check out their tutorial which is a step-by-step -step guide to show you how to use this app in and out so right before we get into the calendar appointments and employee and then all these stuff let's go into customization and let's customize our booking website a little bit if you want to check out how your current booking site looks like just click on booking website it will open a new tab and this is how the current booking site looks like and this is how you can book an appointment right click on booking now you can either create an account if i'm repeat customers i can always have an account with you or i can continue as a guest pick the employee and and to choose the time like entire layout is super clean and very modern looking and let's come back to the dashboard and now let's click on customize in customization we have a five different settings we can go through in case if you want to embed a booking form on your website or on a landing page you can totally grab this embed code and just copy this code you can insert a booking form as an html code and you can redirect them to a certain url in case you have your own confirmation page designed show time zone options for customers and this totally depends if your business is a local area or it's international if it's international you definitely want to show them the time zone however if you're a local business you probably want to turn this toggle option off for account settings in case if you want a mandatory to have an account with you then you can toggle the second option or if you only want to accept guest customers you can turn on the third one if you want to use both like how i showed you guys earlier then just leave it alone and towards the bottom if you want to hide employee selection then it will basically skip this entire step and now let's come to the second setting which is look and feel here is a booking form steps we have a six different steps in case if you want to ask for their location first you can move these toggles around for example i want them to choose the employee first and after the employee i want them to select the service category then enter the number of people and the location and towards the middle here remember i told you guys don't worry about the theme because in case you want to swap the theme around and just show you guys i picked the last theme here called a neon and click on save changes and come to my booking website and do a refresh and this is how the dark theme looks like really good quality i think i'm gonna just stick to this dark version because i like this green and this dark layout and if you have your own branding theme go ahead and change your primary color as well as background color and then for font personally one of my favorite fonts has always been poppings and it shows you how the sample font looks like let's save changes come back to my booking form again do a quick refresh you can tell that font has updated and then let's come back here towards the bottom we can change the 
dark theme or light theme. And we can always change the background if you have a, a wallpaper or your brand wallpaper you want to use. Right here, we have a toggle option it says show made with a draft. This is basically at the bottom right corner. You can see this is a credit footer. If you want to remove that option to make it 100% white label, then you can untoggle it, click on save, come back to the website. Let's do a refresh. You can see that bottom footer is gone. And from there, you can add your own website logo and favicon. Now let's move on to the third option, which is language. You can choose a specific language in this drop down, and the entire system language will be updated accordingly. You can have your own labels. For example, if you don't want to call employee, you can enter your own word, such as staff, and click on save. The entire system will change that verbiage accordingly. And then the last option here is custom field. For example, imagine I want to capture this customer's birthday. Super easy, click on add custom field. In this case, since I want to capture a date, I'm going to go with the date picker. And from there, I added a label called birthday and a placeholder is your birthday. And from there, we have a size of this custom field. In this case, let's just go with a one to one. I want to display in a new role. And then I do want to make this required. And from there, I just click on save changes. You can see here, this is the birthday field and this is a date picker. And the last option here is custom code in case you want to customize some CSS or you can also insert your custom JavaScript. For example, you might want to embed your Facebook pixel or Google Analytics or heat map data. Then you can go ahead and enter your script here in this box. And remember, all these are sample data. If you want to remove all the sample data, come to customize, you want to delete examples. Let's quickly click on calendar. You can see if I click on sample employee here, here is all her bookings and you can individually check different employees calendar or you can click on all employee. This way it will display to you every calendar there is and then how many bookings in total. Let's move on to appointments. When someone books an appointment, you have the drop down option here to say if it's pending, canceled or rejected. And then from there, we can export all the booking data or we can also create a sharing link Basically, you choose the category, the service, the employee, the location, and the date range. Click on create link. And this is that specific link that's created. Let's come to incognito window. They can go ahead and pick the time right away and continue the booking because you have already narrowed down to the service and the staff. By the way, remember, I changed the employee to staff. So you can see the verbiage has been changed from employee to staff. And then from there, we have customers. This is more like a CRM system built inside of this app. If I click on it, we can check really cool part here. It will display to you the favorite service. Again, it's all about building that relationship with the customer, right? And at the bottom here, you can view all the payments and you can check all the total payments that customers has been paid to your business. And from there, we have a services. You can create different categories and you can create different services underneath that specific category. And if I click on one of these services, let's quickly click on edit. And here is all the details about this service. For example, I want to uncheck this person. I only want to make myself available for this service. Then that's how you do so. You can set the duration and you also want to set a buffer time. So this buffer time is that break time, right? You don't want to have a back and back appointment booking. You always want to give yourself like 30 minutes window. Then you can check out this buffer time before and after. And from there, you can also enable a deposit. For example, you want to take $50 non-refundable deposit. Then you can ask for the deposit here. At the bottom here, you can enable recruiting payment. If you offer this service on a month to month basis and then save changes, that's all we need to do. And that's how you add the service, right? It's really simple and straightforward. In finance, we have a four different options. First one is invoicing. Second one is the settings. You don't want want your customer to guess how many invoices or customers you've had, right? So my trick is add 0000, how many zero you want to add and add a one. So click on save. So the first invoice will be 10001. And the next one is plus one, plus one, plus one. You can also add an invoice prefix, meaning if I want to say ID 10001, then you can add a prefix here. And then obviously you want to automatically send invoice to customers. I recommend you guys to turn that option on. And then guess what? really, really cool part is invoice customization. This is a really minimal design, super clean, and they have a more templates that's coming. And for taxes, I'm from BC, Canada. I want to insert my own tax rate. For example, in here, we call them GST and the percentage is 5%. And then we'll have a three more toggle options. Click on add tax rate. I want to add 
the tax on top of the price, which is the second option. I can assign this only for certain services and leave the other one non-taxable. And at the end here, we have a coupon option in case you feel want to give your royal customers like 50%, 20% off. You can create the coupon. You can even send the coupon to your customers. So again, what I really like about Traft is it's an all-in-one platform. You can do everything inside of one place. The last option we want to go through is click on settings on the top right corner. And the most important setting here is the features and integration. You can see at the moment, everything is white labeled except my domain. The domain still says Traft.com and that's why you want to insert your custom domain and from there i want to scroll down a little bit you can see online payments this is one of the most important configuration because you want to collect payments right for payment methods we have a paypal we have a stripe we have authorized.net if you want to collect your payment on site you can always have this option toggled on and click on save changes And now right before we go, let's actually book an appointment from start to finish. I wanna show you guys how everything load up on your dashboard. You can see here, this is the session I'm gonna book for. Click on book. I want to continue as a guest and pick one of the staff or employee and then click on continue. Let's pick one of these times. That's two hour session right there on the 19th. Click on continue. Enter your first name, last name, email, phone number. Remember the birthday field here we created ourselves. In case if your customer has a coupon, they can insert a coupon here and click on book. And that's it. I have the options to add this event into my Google Calendar and just click on add appointment. It will load it on my Google Calendar. And if you notice, we collected 5% GST, which is $7.50 here. It's also included in the total price and you can view detailed pricing. It will show you there is a 5% GST there. Let's come back to the dashboard, refresh. You can see we have generated 157.50 as a revenue. We have a one more appointment booked and towards the bottom here you can see it automatically approve the entire booking basically i'm all set click on it one more time you can see here is more about this appointment we'll have a date and time who is assigned to the customer info the payment and the custom field which is the birthday that's stored here <laughs> So that is wrap up of this entire video, this amazing booking platform called the Traft. And now questions back to you. What do you think about Traft? Do you think this is a powerful booking system that's worth trying out? Personally, I absolutely love this deal. I'm gonna migrate all my business operation from Calendly officially to Traft. With that said, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure you do and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any future content. This is Toriel Sultan signing out. I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers.